Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to the recap. Today is Friday, May 3rd, 2024, and there are currently 15 days of school left in this year. I'm Kate Atoll, and I'm Asla Pruitt. Let's take a look at what's going on around the school. There are many ways to get involved here at Bremen. Let's go to Maddie Vanable to see why you should be involved in the art club. My name is Abby Chadwick, and I'm in Art 3 as well as Art Club. Right now, I am working on a surrealism painting that is being done by the student teacher. I personally really enjoy a lot of the portraits, either the portraits or the um, the still lifes I find really fun. Hey, I'm Tristan Rogers and I'm in art two class. Right now I'm working on stuff to put into the um, senior art showcase. I like working with watercolor. I feel like I'm best at it because if you mess up, you can't really tell. Looking to join the art program next year? Mrs. Pollard teaches Fibers 1, 2, and 3 in the fall, where students can learn how to crochet, sew, and embroider. Students can also learn about different textile techniques and the history of textiles. Or maybe you'd prefer art class, where students learn how to draw, paint, printmaking, ceramics, sculpture, and more. Explore your creativity in the BHS art program. Album of the Week is back with another round. Here is Luke Berzamon spotlighting a new album and what it means to be a student here at BHS. Welcome to Album of the Week. Today my guest is Aiden Andrews. And today we're going to be talking about his favorite album, Facelift by Alice in Chains. Aiden, what's your favorite song on the album? My favorite song is definitely I Know Something. It's just such a beautiful song. One of the best riffs, in my opinion. And the harmonies between the lead vocalist and the lead guitarist are just beautiful. What does this album mean to you? Uh, I mean, this album, it just inspires me to go pick up my guitar and go try and write something. It just, it's my favorite album. The guitar riffs are incredible, and the vocals are just amazing, too, so it makes me want to just get out there and sing, yeah. too. That's Album of the Week. Uh, thank you for being here, Aiden. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Phones have become an increasingly large part of this society. 97% of Americans have a cell phone. Let's look at how much time Bremen High School students spend on their cell phone. No matter where you go, it isn't hard to find someone on their phone. Teens spend an average of eight and a half hours on their phones every single day. Let's see if students at BHS can prove this to be true. Okay, so the average teen spends eight and a half hours on their phone a day. Do you think you spend over this average or under? Probably under. Above. Um, I think mine's above it. Probably above. If you were to take a guess, what do you think your average would be? Um... Probably like close to nine hours. Probably like ten. At least two hours. Like probably four hours, four and a half hours. Phone screens are a way for a person to showcase what is important to them. Here's AJ Emerson with some of the students at Bremen showcasing exactly that. Lock screen are very important to a phone because it could mean something very important to the person who put the picture on their phone or something funny for the user whenever they turn on their phone. They will always see the picture that they decide to put on their lock screen. I'm real with Chibo of Jadon. What's your lock screen on your phone? Well, it's a picture of uh, Owen Millons, Watson Henry, me, and Justin Faulkner after we won the state championship. I'm here with Brad Haynes. What's your lock screen on your phone? My lock screen? Bo Dudley. His forehead just inspires me. I'm here with Bo Dudley. What's your lock screen on your phone? <clears throat> it's a picture of me when I was young, just out there running on the track, you know? Okay, I'm here with Brady Deej. What's your lock screen? Uh, picture of me playing baseball as a kid. I've been missing baseball recently, so yeah, it's going to inspire me to join the team with Coach Brown and him. Okay. Am I here with Side Survey? What's your lock screen? Just Faulkner. Because uh, I really want to be like him. Yeah. All right, who am I here with? Caleb B. Stelly. What's your last name? Evan DeFore. He just inspires me a lot. Like, you know. Over 700 students at Bremen High School prefer different lunchroom menus. Here's Olana Nixon asking students about their favorite lunchroom items. Lunch is a very important time of day. It is needed to fill your body and calories you scrum daily options. With the wide variety of food served at Bremen High School, there is always something for everyone. Let's ask students what their favorite lunchroom items are. Who am I here with? Lily Wilson. Jay Hall. And what is your favorite lunchroom item? Um, I like the bread rolls and the salad bar. Okay. I like the mashed potatoes. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with? 
Uh, Ronnie. Okay, and what's your favorite lunch remind us? Uh, applesauce. Okay. <laughs> Alright, who am I here with today? Emily. You are. Alright, and what is y'all's favorite lunch remind item? I like the crispy doughs. Okay. Uh, I like the chicken nuggets. Alright, there we go. Who am I here with today? Michael Ag. And what's your favorite lunch remind item? Spicy chicken sandwich. There you go. Would you rather have Chick-fil-A or McDonald's? I know, I'd rather have Chick-fil-A. We'll check with Maddie in Thailand and Savannah to see what other people think. We make choices all the time in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's see what our chosen contestants will pick in our game of Would You Rather. Hi, who am I here with? Jada. Would you rather eat Chick-fil-A or McDonald's? Uh, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Would you rather eat school food or pack lunch? Mm, school food. That's gross. Who am I here with? Maddie. Would you rather eat Papa John's or Domino's? Neither. Get Would up. you rather sit down at a restaurant or go pick it up? Sit down. Hi, what's your name? I am Beetle. <laughs> All right, and would you rather have homemade food or fast food? Homemade food. And would you rather have Starbucks or Dunkin'? Starbucks. Me too. That's all from us. That's, That's all for today. If you have any other segment ideas, contact Ms. Hendricks or a member of the recap team. I'm Caden Tom. And I'm Emma Rowe. We hope you have a great weekend, and don't forget to go support our boys' soccer team tonight at Hebron Christian.